Hello, Cancers. So last video I did, I got that someone really messed up. Um, they're trying to play it cool, but they, like, they know that they messed up and they really don't want to lose you, but it's like they have, you know, an issue with pride or fear and they're, they're just trying to, like, there's a lot that they want to say, but they're holding it back. But let me see what the cards have to say about it. What's the, what's the current update on this situation with cancers? Hesitation, mixed feelings, choose a path. Can you guys see that? Overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotaging, loyalty, stability, vows. So yeah, your person knows that they need to choose. Um, they're well aware that they're overthinking, they're overanalyzing this, they're self-sabotaging. I think that they know that they need to reach out, like they need to apologize, they need to make some sort of effort and they're they're aware of this. Um, I don't feel like they're waiting for you to make the effort. I mean, I'm sure that they would love it if you if you did that for them, but it's like you you know that they need to reach out first. You know what I mean? Like you like you have enough self-respect to know that it's it's their turn to make things right. It's their turn to message you first. So you're you're staying in your power, which is a good thing. And they they understand that and they they know too. They they know that they need to be the first one to reach out. They know that they're the ones that messed up. Um but they yeah, they're trying to choose a path. It's like they know that they have to move one direction or another and they can keep hesitating and and getting lost in these mixed feelings, um, overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotaging this, or they can choose to come forward and be loyal and stable and, um, you know, make a promise to you. It's just, they, they want to communicate. I do feel that. So you might be getting a message. Show me more about this energy. Adventure, honeymoon, vacation. They're wanting a fresh start with you. Truth and clarity. They might want to confess something to you. They might be conscious of the the psychic connection here. They might be there might be something that you told them and that they they doubted it at first and now they're starting to realize it's true. Something some kind of truth or clarity regarding dreams, visions and telepathic communication. So you might also be spiritually going to them in their dreams and giving them messages and telling them to come forward. You might be um like you're standing in your power, but I feel like you're also trying to manifest this. Like you're trying to like some of you are trying to manifest an apology, um, some sort of communication, um, and your your intentions seem to be working. It seems it seems like maybe you're putting some energy in telepathically to get this person to move forward towards you. And I do feel like something's happened. I feel I feel so this energy is coming through strongly. I feel like they might have just had a dream about you or a vision or there was some kind of telepathic communication. Like you like they straight up had like like shared dreaming, like lucid dreaming, like you had a dream about them and they had a dream about you the same night. Like it's that kind of energy. And I think that a truth was revealed in this dream. So maybe you let them know like, hey, I'll forgive you, but you need to reach out. Like we can work through this, but you need to reach out. You might have also, is there is there a certain truth that you guys have that you want them to know that you haven't been able to tell them, maybe because you haven't gotten the chance to, I feel like your spirit might have found a way to let them know that truth. And it could be like a warning or something that you had for them. Like you needed to let them know something. Like you needed to let them know someone in their life was toxic or you needed to let them know um, some kind of situation they were in might not go well for them. And they're Like you might have channeled something and you wanted to tell them, but you felt like you couldn't. Um, cause there's whatever the truth is, again, it's going to be different for everybody. Like it might've been a warning and might've just been the truth about how you're feeling and letting them know that you're open. It might've been a truth about, um, could be like something with the psychic world, like that your soulmates or twin flames, like maybe there was just something you wanted them to know about the connection, um, or something, maybe they accused you of doing something you didn't do and you're wanting to tell them the truth. There's just whatever the story is, there's just some kind of truth that I feel was just revealed to them recently in their dreams. You guys might have had dreams about each other on the same night, actually, is what I'm feeling here. And they know that they need to make a choice. You know what I mean? Like they know that they need to choose between staying stuck in the stagnant energy or moving forward and being loyal and stable. 
Um, I feel like they're kind of working on, they want to, they want to make sure they can be loyal and stable because they don't want to come forward with a half-ass offer. You know what I mean? They don't want to come forward and just end up sabotaging it or getting confused or whatever else again. So they want to make sure that they're going to do it right. Um, they want to give this their everything if they're going to do it. So they're just, they're making sure that they're mentally, emotionally prepared for that. I feel like whatever happened in their dreams was really intense and they're trying to wrap their heads around it. I feel like, I really feel like you just straight up came to them in their dreams and they're really trying to figure out what just happened. Like they're like, like, I don't think it was like, I mean, it could have just been like a dream of you, like where you guys were together and like you're on the beach or something and it's like an old memory and they, they miss you. They want to connect with you. It's, it could be something like that. But I feel like for most of you, it feels more like a very straightforward dream. Like you straight up just went to them and were like, hey, message me <laughs> like like you just talk to them. Like, you know what I mean? Like lucid dreaming or some kind of some kind of truth revealed in, in a dream or at least coming through strongly here. Um you know, almost like just having a conversation with someone like telepathically, like they just saw you there, like talking to them, like saying, Hey, like the door is open, come on in, like, or telling them something like giving them a warning or telling them some kind of truth about your connection, some kind of truth that you really wanted them to know, um, and that you've been thinking about. I feel like you've been wanting to, you know, whatever the truth is, even if it's just about how you're feeling, it's like, there's some, there's something that you've been wanting to say and you can't say it physically, because you know that it's their turn to reach out. So you're staying strong and you're waiting for that message and manifesting that message. So I feel like you went to them in their dreams to tell them what you couldn't tell them in the physical world, if that makes sense. Um, and, it, and your manifestations are working. They are they are thinking about coming forward. They're a little hesitant just because, like I said, they want to make sure that they're going to do this right, you know? Some of them aren't completely ready yet, but they're trying to get ready. They just, they don't want to lose you. You know what I mean? They don't want to come forward and, and not have their life stable and end up, you know, messing things up again. And if this is your reading and you'd like a paid private reading, just uh, send me an email. My email is below in the description box. It is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. If you just go right below this video in the description box, you can just copy and paste that into your email and email me. Um, available to do those now and yeah any donations are also appreciated even just a dollar it really adds up quickly my paypal and my cash app is also below my paypal link is right below so yeah thank you anyway so this truth is kind of it's making them want to start over with you there might be because the ocean is here too for some of you there might be like a specific memory in, involving the ocean hmm Or like maybe they own a motorcycle for some of them. But yeah, adventure, honeymoon, vacation. Like they're wanting, they're wanting that. Like they want to travel with you. They want like a new start with you. They might want to move somewhere with you. Like maybe they're not happy where they're at and they're wanting you to move to where, maybe they're long distance and they want you to move to where they're at or they're wanting to move someplace new. Because I'm kind of getting that some of them are like not happy with their living situation or they're, they're wanting to like, they want to live somewhere else, I feel. Like maybe they've been in the same town for too long and they're kind of bored with it and they really want a new start in all areas of their life, not just love. The divine is, is um, pushing them to make a move. The, the divine is really pushing them to go forward, um, to, to be submissive to their passion, to their, their feelings for you, to, to let go of their pride and their fear. You know, the divine is showing them the synchronicity. This your person's third eye is really opening right now too, and their heart chakra is also opening, and they're seeing the signs. I feel like they were kind of in denial about the signs before, but now they're seeing they're seeing the synchronicities, and they're they're opening themselves up to the possibility that you know soulmates, twin flames, telepathy, psychic work, all that stuff is real. Um. So yeah, you have some spirit guides. You might have some little kitty familiars in your life too that are also doing some work to push them towards you. Some of you. But yeah, they're trying to get them to be submissive to their um, emotions, to their passions, because their home is with you. You know, that's where they feel safe. And they know that deep down. Third party, karmic. Magic, manifestation, intention, power. Okay. I feel like... 
really feel like you're like manifesting this and I feel like it's working. Some of them are still in a karmic relationship and they're, they're trying to get out of that right now. Um, or some of them are just distracted in general by a third party energy that could be like a job or something else just like could be their own energy they're distracted by, you know, but they're, they're trying to, um, you're, you're, you're helping guide them out of that, whatever it is. They feel like they're trying to come out of that energy so that they can be loyal to you. Yeah. They want to be courageous, assertive. They want to move forward with you. They're feeling isolated and alone. They're feeling empty. They're really missing what you guys had together. I swear, I feel like there's some kind of memory like involving nature or the ocean or something that they really miss with a lot of you, which is some of you. They might be dealing with their own mental instabilities as well, um, kind of isolating themselves, self-sabotaging and kind of doing some shadow work, dealing with some manipulation, deception and trying to come out of that energy and, and see the truth and see things more clearly. They want to come in. They want a message. They're just kind of um, kind of worried that you're mad at them still, even though they have the, that dream. They're still wrapping their head around the dream. It's it, I think it was an intense dream, so it's a lot to process. You know what I mean? Um, especially if someone that was kind of like not fully open to the psychic world, like if they just had something like just like you came to them and you're like, Hey, the karmic is doing this to you. And they're like, dude, how did you know that? Like how, like, like they can't logic, like whatever the dream was, they can't logically be like, that was just a dream. Cause it was so real to them. You know what I mean? Like whatever it is you told them in the dream, that truth that was revealed, it's like it's something they can't just ignore. So they're that's kind of where they're at right now is just they're wrapping. Um, it's like a psychic awakening. You know what I mean? Like something's just happened where they're like, oh, wow, that that energy is actually real. Like telepathy, like psychic energy. It's it's real. Like this person really is my soulmate or my twin flame like that. That's they weren't just crazy. Like it's this is this is really something that's, you know, like it's it's a part of the world like they're 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 processing that though you know what I mean like that's scary to go your whole life not believing in that stuff or like being kind of open-minded to it but not completely open and then all of a sudden like you get like a prophet prophetic dream or something like that and they're just like dude what <laughs> like they're so they're, that's where they're at they're they're trying to wrap their head or that um it's like a new perspective for them you know what I mean like they're trying to wrap their head around the the fact that that's a real thing you know like that that energy is real that's <laughs> you know, other realms and all of that. It's, it's all real. Like they, they, something just really opened their eyes, you know, they got a really shocking truth, I feel. But, um, yeah, it's good. It's good energy overall. I, I do feel them wanting to move forward again. They're just, um, trying to figure some things out. They're trying to make sure that they can come to you loyal, that they can be stable. They know that if you do actually end up giving them another chance, that there's probably just going to be one chance and that's it. So they want to make sure that they do this right. Um, what you're doing is good. What you're doing, you're standing in your power because they took you for granted in the past, but now you're standing in your power and you're manifesting this message. And it's, um, I mean, it's tricky. It is manifesting, I feel. I feel like it is coming, but I feel like, I mean, there's just some, there's still some things this person, like some little blocks here and there are some things that this person has to get through. You know what I mean? So it's like you are manifesting it, but it's like, it feels bumpy because of what this person has going on in their, their lives right now. You know what I mean? Um, but I do feel them wanting to come forward and I feel, so I feel like you're on the right path. If, if you're wanting this person, like just what you're doing, staying in your power, having faith, manifesting this message, pulling them in. Um, it's really good that you're not reaching out because they might take you for granted again if you did. So it's kind of good that you're you're going behind the scenes and telepathically communicating with them so that they know that you're open, um, but you're not, you know, putting yourself out there too much for them. You know what I mean? Like you're just standing in your power and pulling them in. So so keep doing that. Keep pulling them in. Um, yeah. And if again, like I said, if anyone wants a private reading, my email is below. Any donations at all are appreciated and please subscribe if it resonates. Thanks for watching.